What's going on, everybody? Last we left off, we uh, started uh, or ended the prologue and started chapter one. Um, Monokuma decided to uh, let us know that we must kill somebody if we want to leave. Uh, now, if I get the predetermined choice, or if I get choices on what to do, that's going to be scary because I don't know, as I get to know these characters, how I may act. Or how my actions may develop into changes in the game. Obviously, I'm very much a sparing type person. So, could that get me destroyed? Could that get me messed up? Don't know. But that's what we're here to find out. My mind froze as my breath caught. Or my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel the paralyzing fear slowly making its way through the body. Dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me. Pressing down like a weight around my neck. I took everything I had to endure the weight. Chapter 1. To survive. Daily life. But as far as as but as far as heavy heavy as the air felt, all it took was to pierce it was her sharp yeah. wounds. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around just standing around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped to pull us back to reality. Yeah. We're right. She's right. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Mm -hmm. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Jesus. <laughs> if you have to yell about it, you have time to do something about However... it. However... Perhaps, but what is this mission exactly? Stupid. Look for a way out, duh. And we totally need to find whoever's controlling this stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, 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 but before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations. Monokuma mentioned it before doing anything else. True, if we stumble about with no clue at the, what the rules are, there's something might happen again. All right. Fine. So then let's hurry up and check that rule. Check the stupid rules already. It's fine. Okay, what is the rules? What are we not allowed to do? That's a good idea to figure it out. So I'm glad that software developer chick brought that up. Because that makes the most sense for her to bring it up. She's the one that's like super conscious. Needs to know blah, 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 step by step by step by step by step what's going on. What she's okay to do. What she's not okay to do. Like that she brought it up. After turning on my e-handbook for the first time, so my name, or something that appeared was my name. So just like Monica has said, the owner's name shows up front and center. And then from the main menu, from the main menu that popped up, I selected school regulations icon. Students may read, oh, it is itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school's regulations. In other words, it must be imposed on us all. Students, one, students may reside only within the school Leaving campus is unacceptable. Is an unacceptable use of time. Two, nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Areas are off limit. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise that caution. Three, sleeping anywhere other than your dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and is punished accordingly. Four, with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Peaks Academy at your discretion. Five. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is it, as is destruction of surveillance. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes blackened, and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Ooh. Okay, so there's a clause to that, which means, am I? Am I? Or can I control whether or not somebody leaves or not? Like, could I flub on purpose to save somebody? i That's a thought that crosses through my mind. Because what if it's a character that I really enjoy and really like. And I understand their devotions and why they did what they did. It challenges the moral landscape. Interesting. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. I knew that was going to be the seventh rule. I knew it was going to be. A slight... Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my hand up from the screen. 
As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everybody's face. Stop fucking around. What the hell are these kind of rules? I'm not going to let them control me like this. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without care in the world and see what happens? Uh, personally, I would love to see what happens when somebody breaks one of these However, rules. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think they would be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I ever, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, and even if it kills him. And so what? What? I've made a ton of promises, and I still have to keep them. That's so Piece what? I can't afford dying here. <sighs> and none of these made sense to me, but you're saying that you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh. Oh, well. I guess you're right. <clears throat> hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? <clears throat> Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes blackened and gradu and will graduate unless they're discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if we want to graduate, you have to kill somebody without anyone finding out if it was, that it was you. But, but, but why? Do we have... To do that. I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about the following rule or following the rules and they've been as they've been Such explained to ignorant. us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't don't jab at me Give like me that. Break. More like a full on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's forget the silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now what we, that we know the rules, I'll start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. And is there a way out? What is the food and the you supplies? Understand? There's tons of questions that we still need to answer. Let's do it! Okay. Then we'll start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? This is a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? <clears throat> Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying that we should stand around with them in our midst and make it as much that much easier for them? Hold on. Second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never. What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You couldn't. You can't deny that possibility. And that's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um. But but but. Hmm. So simply acting in accordance to with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Hell, <laughs> you let. I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? What is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, and in that they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. Stop it. We shouldn't what? fight. <laughs> you could have got a goody goody. Oh my gosh. He is like off the rails. What do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're some dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, and the next second I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten the kind of people that I'm trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being there around all the ultimates is blowing my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it led to something absurd as this. I just lost track of my sense of reality. And that's my last thought of con before consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut it out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... The dormitory, probably. Where am I? As if it became part of the daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You have access to the handbook menu, so you can check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu with X. You can use this menu to check school regulations, character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load the game data under the system section. Okay, so I can save it whenever I want. That's good to know. So I can literally, like, stop in mid-chapter, blah, blah, blah. Finally, press the back button to review the transcript. This records all permanent info, you, so you use this to review comments from everyone involved. 
Okay, there's a bunch that I can check in here. Okay, we already know that. Let's check our desk if we can. Something in the drawer. A toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still shrink wrapped. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. It's a notepad. I guess school must have been given one to each of us. This is bed. This must be the key to the room. Um, my name's written on the keychain, which means this must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Garbage can. Oh, whoa! I got a badge for checking the garbage can. Probably a calendar of sorts. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room lock has been designed to completely protect tampering against lock picking. Remaining in an individual's room key... Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please do not lose yours. Your room comes with a furnished shower with a shower, but please note the water is turned off in the nighttime. Also, bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each one of you. For those for the girls, you get a sewing kit, and for the boys, you get a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will get the job done, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample enough. Don't think, just feel. It, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. That's probably just the surveillance video camera. Yeah. This is the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand this room must be. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So the answer to that question, the next question is, why? What's it up? Everyone else up to right now? The only way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, is this door locked still? Oh no, it's not. Okay, back to being unlocked. Cool, cool, cool. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was something waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! <laughs> oh, it's Sayoko. Oh, Sayaka? Or Sayaka, not Sayoko. Sorry, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayoka? Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look. It's actually built, I've, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good. Um, but are you okay? You know, from the Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right there from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. I was kind of worried. The thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um, actually, I came to get you. You came to get me. Well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could get you could come to the dining hall. The dining you hall. See. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go do their own thing, and we decided it would be more effective to split up and investigate. So we agreed to to get together later on and talk about what each other had found. So does it mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll that's go with you. Good. Good. I'll go ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Oh, we got everybody's room. Are we allowed to... Okay. So we're able to see kind of where everybody 
is in this hallway. Oh, a whole thing opened up for us. Okay. Oh, when it gives us everybody's room from the map. That's cool. I like that. I am definitely up for that. Now, is this a, an apparel shop, maybe? No. Fine, I'll go to the dining hall. Oh, there's like a swimming pool, too. Okay. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Um, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. That's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should wait here now. <laughs> hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Oh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is this really just intuition? Kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking with Sayaka, right? Well, there... While you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear, and here's how they work. When purple world words drop, if you press the Y button, you'll go into reaction mode. Oh, you're familiar with reactions. Well, just in case, let me explain. At this point, you use directional, you use directional buttons to make selections, and then the A button to confirm it. When it comes, also when it comes to that dialogue, you review whatever you talked about. So, for more info, talking to someone about things is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your school, ever important school life. Ah, you've gone ahead and used it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto, what is it? Um. Well, it's just. I know this is kind of continuing the self introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in like class two? Oh, I actually was. I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Are you okay? Oh yeah, just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school three years ago. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but, like, there's lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange. St st strange. That. <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever that's seen. Good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a whole lot better about this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all of you <laughs> ultimates. But you're the one who helped me find the courage again, and not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to be your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm just going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped up, which is nice, but still... Everyone here is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Um, so what time is it right now? It's 7 o'clock at night! Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. 
Without being able to look out the window, I lost all sense of time. And even if I stayed at this place too long, I might go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet. I'm sure they'll be showing up soon. It's almost like he timed it. Or um, it's almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the door to the dining hall as soon as Sayaka said it. Or Sayaka said hey. it. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I sure I was going to beat everyone here. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? As soon after that, everyone came strolling in one after another after another. And after a few minutes, everyone gathered in the dining hall. Okay. It looks like everyone's here. <clears throat> Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, um, what's her name, you know? The Silverhead girl. <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? She's not here. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be um, seen. Uh, I wonder where she went. Has everyone seen her? But everyone shook her head, their heads. Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill somebody if you want to leave. Simple as that. <laughs> it's up to the rest of you. Give it all to the archive. The best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible that she was really... No, no, no. I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're go really going to be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she'd be late. It's the most uncom or unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know? Like... <clears throat> Well, what would you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, declare the first session of Hope Peak Academy's briefing meeting has um. begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough, and maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> hmm, you know. Hmm, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I've really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Um. Okay, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split out to uh, up to investigate different parts of the building, but you see, Baikua and Taka went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. I spent some time looking around the dom or the dormitory, and Listen to me. there is there I made a discovery of the century. I found that this is exactly one room for each person. No, really. Ah, yeah, I figured that out before anyone else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Mm -hmm. And each room had a key attached to the keychain with the owner's name and the precision, or name precision etched into it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my and room. Plus. And Chiri, or Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... The next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and we wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> Well, each room has a totally private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh. When I checked my bathroom before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. Maybe I should double-check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, maybe you got a bunch of rooms ready for us, but they're assuming that we're going to be here for a, ri a while. Well, they better have than have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving in, like, wild animals <sighs> and all. That, that can't be all you have to report, can that, Mr. Honors st Student? Got it. That's all I have to report. Let's move on for whoever's next. Um, you 
see. <laughs> I wanted to try and find a clue from who, as who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncover anything naturally, I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. Um. You see. It looks like Leon, Hero, Junku, and Shiro all grouped together. Saying goes for Hina, Sakura, Romando, Celeste, Toko, and Hifimi are left, so are left, were left over, so they joined up. What did you guys Let's do? See. If I'm to be honest, I can't quite say as we acted as one. I'd rather we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we were not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell, wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking just sitting around in the gym the whole time? <laughs> oh, well, well, it's not like you, any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you, you, you for leaving me out. It's your what fault. The... If you wanted to go with somebody, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. I would, I, I'd like, want to go with anyone with a dirty... Whoa! <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body, and you make me want to sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even want to know how to react. Or, I don't even, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to somebody you just hey, met? Hey, come on. All right, guys, just calm down, calm down. Okay, this is all the stress. This is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are cl are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't even know what's going on, Sayaka. Do I just keep talking to Sayaka? You see. I'm not, even I'm not even concerned necessarily. I should be, but Sakura. But I like. I'm not. I'm not concerned about that gang. They probably did something. It's fine. Oh, do I have to actually do all the reactions? Probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do all the reactions. Okay. I don't have a choice. <laughs> um. You see. Ah, thought maybe we could find a way to communicate with the outside, but so we went looking all over. But we didn't find anything. I'm Yo. sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking that maybe we could do something about the giant hunk of metal. What? But with Sakura and me what? both, we couldn't but or it wouldn't budge. It we hit the desks and the chairs, nothing. <sighs> Shit. It was hard as metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes. It is metal. Anyways, if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through he through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So I should tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicate communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. Both the school and dorm areas are all set of, are there were set of stairs to another floor. Right. But there were gates there. We couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words... At this point, we were only able to search the first floor. However, we could further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um, you see. Oh, we have to. We we um, missed. You see. We went up down the school double checking the windows and hallways and classes we wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off but what happened was hmm. nothing and it, not a dang thing i couldn't get a single one to budge out even what a little bit I do? there wasn't any help to escape anywhere the school really has been totally cut this off this is bad 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 it bad really sucks 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 what the hell are we gonna do hey, come on god damn calm down you're starting to make me nervous so, that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess there's I'm the only one left. Um. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all that's kinds of good. stuff. I guess you don't have to worry about food, at least. What? Sure, for now, even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long could that food last? <laughs> you could eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? What am I? A parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food we got restocked automatically each um... day. At least that's what Monokuma said. <gasps> you saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge and he told me then that and disappeared again. It was so fast, I can't believe somebody could keep been mo or could have been moving around him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that could appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, but everything was okay. He didn't like eat you or anything. <laughs> Ear? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh my god, that actually was just said. Oh my god. Hey, you bastard. Actually. Okay, also, I actually like you a lot more for that comment. You might have moved out of the tier for that one comment. Single-handed comment alone. Hey. Stop screwing around, all of you. <laughs> oh my god, I still can't believe that I said that. <laughs> Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We're all we could all just die any <laughs> second. Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something. A voice got through the nose, interrupting Mondo. You're all spreading an awful lot of time, yelling and carrying mm -hmm. on. Oh, do you really think you can afford to do so? None of you expected except that the reality of the situation. Yo! Kyoko, what the heck have you where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What is this? It appears to be a map of Hope Peak Academy. A map. But what the? Where did you find wow. this? It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're freaking us out right now. But more important, Never mind that. What does it mean? It seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely in the same way as Hope Peak Academy. So what you're saying is this really is Hope Peak it's Academy. True. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know the details yet. All I found was the details about the first floor. Um, but then... This really is Hopi... Then we didn't get kidnapped or taken to some other place. This is so stupid, it's not even possible! This is where the country's future elite were supposed to come and learn. But... But if this really is Hopi Academy... Where are all the other students? Mm. Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this craziness, you know, negative stuff and all. But aren't you worried that Yo. things don't look too good? Worried about... Worried? What is there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out right, and the people in charge of Hope Peak can just put this all together. It's fine. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have an... I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth right now. <laughs> you know? Good things come to those who wait, so we're just as gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Um, I'm just happy, that's all. It seems like splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? It was like a total waste of our time. We didn't even find a way. Who, we didn't even find who's behind all this. We still have no idea what's going oh. on. Huh? It's not crystal clear to you what's going on Are yet? You okay with this? It's perfectly obvious that we are we have been imprisoned so in some secret location with no way out. None of us had a response to that. We didn't even accept that reality. But it was staring at us <laughs> right in the face. You, you didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about, about that. No, no, no way out. We're tra tra trapped here. And what, what, we're, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> It's very simple. If you want to leave, you're going to have to just kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that! Mm. Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what we're going to do from here. Seems like... There's going to be something we can do. <laughs> All you can do is adapt. Adapt to our living lives from now on. That's... Live here. Are you just going to... S are you just saying we should accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on the who's the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come from the top, come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means that we're spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits, so please exercise caution. 
Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and is punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night, but I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will start getting worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night, for who knows how long, it'll wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as kind of a preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply, and we'll have to all agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to it. It's like that little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're gonna self-destruct. Listen to me. On behalf of all men here, I agree to comply. Yeah. You can't just decide to speak for us. Fine. So everyone in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, what's what are you Let's where are you see. going? It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. Good goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left for the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. Hmm. So Mr. Chairman was next. What's next? One person already left. Um, well then, we should call it an end of today's meeting. Like she said, it's almost nighttime, and we can reconvene tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have another choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> so here we have to just give up. That's all f fine and good for t -t today, but what are we going to do t -t tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again. Let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed up to their private rooms. Um. Kodo, are you going to call today? Yeah, let's go. And on that note, we are going to call this episode where it is. In the next episode, I don't know where we're going from here, but we're going to continue in the first chapter. Check you guys later.